Hey, it's me. I decided to make a rap of my own. I know that that was kind of last year's thing, but I'm usually a little bit behind the times anyway. So, happy Labor Day 2011, everyone. Let's break this down. Every day I go to school and hear the stories told by fools A thousand ways to get a high Pretend like we're not gonna die Aggieville or working out Is this what life is all about? Ace and test to get a job To get money to get what? I'm gonna show you some illustrations here Move under the light Alright Every math has just obsessed with finding X as the solution. When will these two trains be crossing? What are rates of air pollution? Simple such examples tell us answers are to be expected. Juggle numbers long enough and everything will get connected. And when things look really hairy, just results to trial and error. Difficulties do arise when dealing with our own existence. Poets and philosophers have written scrolls a lengthy distance, but when you compare them all, one trend is clearly seen. No one has a freaking clue, if you know what I mean. People plug in random items trying to find meaning. We're all seeking next to find out if we're only dreaming. Nothing seems to satisfy this darkness deep within. I know I've done some things that God considers to be sin. I'm so glad that X did not remain a mystery. Clear within the holy book is his identity. Simple to explain, yet very hard to quantify. The only son of God whose purpose with us was to die? The ex that I've been looking for was Christos in the flesh. A man who lived a perfect life with crazy righteousness. He's not a magic number that can be manipulated. More like a new best friend with which you need to get acquainted. An eternal axis upon which my world makes sense. Domain is everlasting. It never hits a fence. Alpha and Omega, he holds it all together. He started the earth turning and it spins on to his pleasure. Yeah, angular velocity. Soon it's really clear that I am the dependent one. He defines himself, but without him I am undone. Compared with his perfection, I am filled with deep compunction. Without him giving meaning, my life soon would cease to function. Christ is seeking you as if you were a prized possession. And when you seek him too, amazing things begin to happen. Every sin you've ever done has been heaped up upon him. He co-signed his name upon the debt which you were lost in. The selfless sacrifice, paid for the undeserving, has integrated us into his family, preserving our place beside him after this life quickly passes on. I know my death is going to be more like a day that dawns. I'm so glad I found the ex that satisfies the quest for meaning. It's more like he found me. I love his intervening. I aim to set my life now as tangential to his own. This God who was a man, the Theos on the throne. His kingdom and his glory will carry on forever. His awesome power is not affected by the weather or not. You decide to accept the of peace. Do you like where things are headed? Will you get down on your knees? Before Christ, my life was a choppy sea of uncertainty. But after him, with him, he's given me a new heart and eternal life. Peace out.